So this just fell off of somewhere and I have no idea where it came from. If I fall out of this chair, you know why. So as you can see right here is the iPad Pro 2020. All right, I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've had this for around a month, but I've always kept the box because I just like collecting boxes. Number one, why I love this iPad, it has a 120 hertz refresh rate. If you don't know what that is, monitors, um, devices, they all have pixels, which means how fast these pixels update over time. Put up like a little clip right here. You can see it's like choppy. 120 hertz is elite. 120 hertz means it updates very quickly. It updates very fast. So you can see pictures on the screen a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more, you know, intricate. So I'm actually going to start with why I even got this in the first place. So I'm a third year university student at university studying law. And basically I need this or I don't need it. I want it for note taking. Um, and I do a bunch of things on the side. I do graphic design, music, a lot of artistic shit. Having this right here is like all of my entire studio put into one little device. This is able to replace my laptop, able to uh, replace my graphic design tablet. It's able to replace, you know, my gaming. No, it, it doesn't replace my gaming. I'm not gonna lie to you. This bad boy does a lot. And we're gonna get into that into this video. If you don't have the Apple Pencil, I also highly recommend getting this. It just makes life a lot easier. One of the, my main apps that I use on this is Procreate. I enjoy drawing as a hobby. I enjoy making graphics as a hobby but at times I like to use it to get income extra income for school extra income for myself things like that so procreate is a great app to replace Photoshop in my opinion it's a great app to replace Photoshop I'm actually gonna show you guys one of my drawings right here the process of me drawing it blah 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 that's a drawing it took around two hours to finish but yeah procreate great app for artists out there if you want it grab it it's not that expensive on the app store just pick it up whenever you want next for photography I recommend Lightroom for those of you looking into photography, very amazing app in itself. Um, anything you can do on Photoshop editing wise or on the computer editing wise, it's basically the exact same thing, but more portable. Next, personally, I use LumaFusion a shit ton. LumaFusion is basically my replacement for Sony Vegas Pro, you know, Adobe Premiere uh, or Final Cut Pro. LumaFusion is my, you know, my replacement for all of these editing softwares that I have on the computer. And being able to travel with this, it's very light, very compact. It just makes life a lot easier. Next, I have Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is my exact, exact, exact replacement for Photoshop. And the big difference between Photoshop and Affinity Pro is that Affinity Pro actually renders, you know, vectors. If you don't know what vectors are, basically Photoshop has pixels, a bunch of tiny, tiny pixels. If you zoom in, you zoom in, you zoom in, you're going to see all of those pixels. But Affinity Pro, you can zoom in all you want and you will not see those pixels. So it's good for logo making, designs, anything like that for putting on t-shirts, anything you guys want to do where you want a very clear image. Next, I enjoy reading manga. No cap. I love manga. I'm reading Solo Leveling right now. I don't know if you, some of you guys know that. Solo Leveling is very dope manga. If you guys want to check that out, do do that. There's about a hundred and something chapters out there right now. Give it a look. Next, next, next. For school-wise, I have Notability. When I'm taking, you know notes and whatnot, I like to use Notability. Notability is basically just an easier way to take notes. You can write directly onto the paper. It feels just like, you know, pen and paper. And what I do recommend is getting a screen protector that feels like, you know, paper. And I'll put that in the link in the description, so check that out. Notability, great app for taking notes. There's not really much to say about it. Anything you can do on pen and paper, you can do on Notability, but a lot easier. You can draw lines, you can drag and drop things around the screen. You can do anything you want to do on Notability that you could do with a hundred sheets of paper. Notability has endless, endless, endless sheets, man. So you can write as much as you want forever. You can write a damn book, you know, if that's what you want to do. Anyways, this video is very short. Not a lot of things I want to really talk about other than just how convenient this thing is. It replaces my entire setup. Other than really making music, this replaces my entire setup. I can make my graphics on this, you know, I can draw on this, I can do Photoshop on this, I can edit on this, I can do notes on this, I can do everything on this that I can do on that, except for make music. Very Highly recommend. I'm not going too in-depth into this video because there's no need to. The iPad speaks for itself. I've given you everything you can do with it and probably more that I haven't even mentioned. But this iPad is very convenient for a lot of you students out there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time.